Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to study exception filter. Again, basically, we are focusing on default implementation of exception filter, that is handle error attribute. Once completing default implementation, we'll see how to create our own filters. Okay, so let us see the handle error attribute practically. As you can see here, I already created one application named as filter demo as well as I added a home controller and one index action method also. Okay, now as you can see the code here, okay, this code is wrong because what I did, I assign 100 value to the second index. Basically, my array size is what 2. So, it will have only 0 and 1 index. There will be no second index. So, purposely I made this mistake to raise an exception. Now, what we will see, we will run this application and we will observe the default behavior when exception reads. So, let us run this. See, whenever exception reads this, what happened? You get this yellow string, yellow screen, right? And in that, you got this error description okay so definitely this screen is okay for the developer but if your user see this screen then what happens he or she might think that there is serious problem in our web application okay so what we want to do whenever there will be an exception or whenever there will be an error we want to display some user friendly page to user Okay, we want to display a user friendly page. So, user may think that there is no big problem. Okay, so let us try to do this using our handle error attribute. Okay, now for that what we have to do? We have to apply the default implementation of our exception filter that is handle error attribute. Now it is your choice whether to apply it at a controller level, action method level or at global level. Initially what we will do, we will apply it at the action method level. Okay. So what you have to say? Just handle error. See basically it is handle error attribute class as you can see here. But whenever we apply the attribute classes, we remove the suffix attribute. Now it has one property view where we have to space specify the web page that we want to display whenever there will be an error. So let us name our view as error and let us create this view also. Okay. Now we are going to create this view in our share folder. Okay. Why in shared folder? I mean, suppose I am going to apply this handle error attribute to my entire application. And I want to show this error page to my entire controllers and for entire action methods. So definitely it should be what? It should be in the shared folder. If it is in the specific controllers view folder, then only that controllers action method can use it. So that's why we are going to keep it in our shared folder. So let us right click over here. Say add view. And our view name is what? Error. Okay. Whatever name you will give here, the same name will be given. Okay in display. Now say add. Now let us display the error message or you can design a error page also with the help of CSS. So error please try again. Okay. Let us save this. Now what will I do? Again I will run this application. Basically now we are going to run our application without debugging. When we say start debugging or when we just press F5, what happens? It will bring us in a debug mode. Okay, I, I do not want to be in a debug mode. Okay, so that's why I'll say start without debugging. So basically one point is still remain. So first of all we will run this. See, still you are getting that yellow page. Okay, so one more setting is remain. So let us do that setting. So for that you have to switch to your web.config file and then after in your system.web tag you have to specify a custom error mode. 
we have to specify the custom errors mode and we are going to set it to on actually there are three values of mode off on and remote only by default it is off okay what is the meaning of off always show that yellow page which contains all the error details which is helpful to developer definitely when you set it to on it will always show you your custom error page and when you set it to remote only at that time what happened if you are working on the server you will get that yellow page having all the error details and if it is running on a client machine client can see the custom error page which is user friendly to him now let us set to on here since i am working on a server machine i have to set it to on if i set it to remote only i'll always get a yellow page only so say on okay now let us run this again and as i said i'll say control f5 because i do not want to be in a debug mode see look at here index page is not shown but what page which page is shown error page is shown okay now every time whenever there is an error in our application or whenever there is an error in this index action method this view get displayed because in our handle error attribute we specified which view to be displayed suppose you want to apply this handle error attribute to your entire controller action method what you will do instead of applying this filter on action method you will apply it on controller you will apply it on controller now this filter get applied to your entire controller's action method and suppose you on you want to apply this handle error attribute to your entire application then it should be applied at global level now what we will see we will see how to apply it at a global level so for that what we have to do we have to add one file in our app start folder and let us call that file as filter config you can name it anything but just to be meaningful name i'll say filter config so basically it is going to be a class filter config and in this filter config file i am going to write one static method so in the same way as there is a method in our root config class root config class this is also a static method okay now here i'll say public static void let us call our method as register global filters okay and to this method you have to pass global filter collection so let me import the namespace first using system dot web dot mvc it is in mvc folder sorry mvc namespace so here i have to say global filter collection so let us create a object of it say filters now here you have to register your filter means you have to create a object of this filter you have to set the properties of your filter and then after add that filter to this collection filters collection okay so what is the name of our filter the name is handle error attribute here you have to create a proper uh, you have to use a proper object, class name okay so whenever you are applying it in the form of square bracket at that time only you can omit the suffix otherwise you have to create a proper object of it say error is equal to new handle error attribute okay uh, let us name it error filter now the next thing is you have to specify the property of it so error filter dot view is equal to what which view we, we created we created error view now what is the next step you have to add this error filter to this filters collection so say filters dot add this error filter okay now we created a filter config file we created a handle error attribute filter now we have to call this method from our application start event so for that we have to switch to global.asx file 
so as you can see here there is a call to our root config uh, register roots file re register roots main me method also so similarly here i have to say filter config so actually it is not in that namespace so what i have to do if you look at here what is the namespace of this filter demo what is the namespace of this filter demo dot app start so what will i do i'll just remove this part not necessary right so here i'll say filter filter config dot see this is the method created by us register global filters and from this you have to pass the filters global filters dot filters global filters dot filters that's it so whenever your application runs this application start event get called and it will register our filter globally and whenever there is an error in our application that view will be error view will be displayed so let us run this and let us try so again i am saying start without debugging that is control f5 see this method also work so you can try out this by adding one more action method in a different controller and just to make a mistake there and check whether it is working or not so in this video what we learn we learn how to use a default implementation of exception filter that is handle error attribute then we learn how to apply it at a action method level at controller level and at global level thank you